Little 6 a.m. jog time. Whew. As some of you know, I'm living in Arizona right now. But it's in the 40s this time of year. and You get so used to the heat. Whew. You get outside, I, I forgot what it was like to shiver. Man. All right. Time to get it. Talk to you soon. Good morning. The thing about telling guys to get up and go running before everyone else is awake. Well, you kind of got to put your money where their mouth is. <laughs> okay, did the morning run and I get home and immediately afterwards I set up my desk here in front of me. Check emails for work, make sure everything's good. Right now I'm on a little bit of an eye break. As you can see, we got the Google laptop and we got the work stuff. You can't really read it on there. Work stuff. I can't show you anything in particular on that laptop because of uh, state protections and whatnot. You know, federal protection of data. It is chilly, so I might be a little shivery during this. But uh, make sure work is good. Running is done, and here we are. I want to share with you a few things that have been absolutely beneficial to my life. And that they're, they're regularly forgotten, but when you partake in them, your life is just better. <laughs> and I never thought of these things when I was younger. Um, you just don't think about that. But now I'm in my 30s, and they pay massive dividends. Let's put it that way. So what I'm talking about are things like prehab... Um, if you've never heard the term, it basically means you're preparing your body to take on all aspects of life and avoid injury. Okay. Prehab. You should look it up. There's lots of different exercises and stretches you can do. And uh, basically just making your body as bulletproof as possible. And I don't know if that phrase is copyright for any particular exercise style. Uh, sorry about that if it is, but, um, it's good. Like look up, uh, what's his name? Knees over toes guy. He does a lot of different exercises, stretches and whatnot that really strengthen huh, your knees and all parts of your body, really. Uh, one thing I've really come to enjoy is uh, bodyweight squats where you're focusing on staying on the balls of your feet, okay? When I was younger, balls of your feet, I thought that meant the heel, right? No, that's, that's the part where your toes meet your foot, the balls of your feet. You know, you're like standing up on your tippy toes, balancing. So you're doing a bodyweight squat on the balls of your feet and you try to go uh, butt to grass. There's another phrase for that, but you try to go as low as you can during that uh, squat form. And <clears throat> just do this repeatedly so that your weight is focused in your knees, okay? Keep your knees tracking over your feet as you go down, do good form, but you're, you're focusing on putting that body weight into your knees so that it strengthens all the muscles of the knee. And there's different variations of this. You can do like a side lunge. Uh, you're, you're essentially teaching your knee to move in these unorthodox patterns and it strengthens it to prevent injury, right? Prehab, A plus, definitely look into that. Uh, another underrated fitness technique that uh, we neglect quite a bit in the, what do you call it? Uh, bodybuilding community or fitness community, whatever, it's stretching. You need to stretch. Static stretches, yoga, do whatever form of it you prefer. But it's forgotten a lot of times. And I think as you age, you need to stretch a lot more than you do regularly. Uh, you ever see that elderly person and they can barely walk around? They're kind of bent over. They, they don't reach down to, to tie their shoes very well. Uh, it's, it's a difficulty getting around. You know, you're, you're not limber. You're not as flexible as you were in your youth and maybe you didn't build that pattern uh, that habit to stretch regularly when you were young but now you're getting older i think you're going to prevent that elderly status of being unable to move if you stretch more regularly it's difficult it hurts it's it's frustrating while you're doing it because <laughs> maybe you remember a time when you were younger and you could you could bend in ways that um, were much more impressive than they are now Sure, but every time I stretch, every single time, I feel better afterwards. I feel more relaxed. I feel more calm. I feel like I can take on the world. And I, I cannot recommend stretching enough, okay? 
try to incorporate it. Once or twice a week is great. If you do it, you know, 10 minutes a day could be helpful. Uh, I've noticed I grunt less. I grunt a lot less when I'm moving. You know what I'm talking about. When you bend over to grab something, okay, you're going to lose sight of me for a second. But this thing. <sighs> you know what I'm talking about? When you bend over or move or reach to grab something and you make a noise. You're getting up off the ground. And <sighs> Why? Why are you doing that? It's like your body is straining to actually do a, a very natural movement of bending over, grabbing stuff, squatting down, whatever it is. Your body is much more flexible than you think it is, and it can be much more flexible than it is now, and it's only going to benefit you by doing that. Um, I think it'll help us age more gracefully, essentially. So this mixture of prehab and stretching and the runs in the morning, I, I mean, that is my ace in the hole. Even if I stop lifting today, if all my muscle goes away, God forbid, right? But I'm going to be taken care of by past Luke, who's doing these things now. I'm working on my cardio. I'm making sure my heart is in a good place. I'm working on prehab so I don't pick up my kids and blow my back out. I'm, I'm bending over to grab something in my knees. I don't tear my ACL, right? Because I'm doing these unorthodox exercises that keep me from getting injured. I'm going to be playing soccer with my kids and I'm going to like pivot really fast in one way and, and blow my knee out. Like I just want to avoid that, right? And then the stretching just helps so I can tie my shoes when I'm older. I can, uh, I can actually bend over without making weird noises. Man, have you noticed that getting older? Do you do that thing? Man, I, I catch myself doing it and it's like, why? <laughs> Why? It, just, it wasn't necessary. <laughs> So anyway, those three things, cardio, prehab, and stretching, look into them. They're kind of underrated, maybe ignored in your life, and they've helped me quite a bit. So get at it, take care of yourself, and have a great day. Sometimes in the mornings when I'm running, I think of that scene from Breakfast Club when the kid's running down the hall. I want to be an airborne ranger. That phrase has lived rent free in my head, but I don't know, how old am I? Since I first saw that movie.